Good afternoon, folks. We are the Wizards of the North, and this is just another EDH show. Today, we're playing some high-powered commander, and after the Commander Master's announcement, I thought, gotta play me some slivers. We're gonna be making a messy board state and hitting everyone in the face. Uh, my name's Casey. I'm playing Furcog, Cunning Instigator. Uh, I'm gonna goad people with dragons, make them attack each other, and draw cards in the process. Uh, and I am Derek. We're back with another spicy brew. We're playing Mira the Magnificent, a unset commander that's uh, looking to make some artifacts, cast some spells, do some attractions, do a whole lot of fun stuff. Sweet. I'm Jess. I'm playing Giada, Font of Hope. I am going to get a bunch of angels out and punch everybody in the face. All righties. And my name is Andre. We've already rolled the dice. We've got our starting hands. Derek, you're going to start us off. I sure am. And I'll start off with a... Temple of Epiphany, which let me scry one. We'll leave that card. Oh, I should have drawn. But we'll leave this card off. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Thank you. I'll draw for turn, and I'll play a Sulphur Falls tapped. Pass to Andre. All right, we'll draw for turn. Um, oh, wait, no. I already drew. Uh, we're going to play a Scalding Tarn, and we are going to uh, sacrifice it right now and find me an island or a mountain and then I'll pass the turn. All right, I will draw. I'm gonna play a plains and then I will pass the turn. Uh, I'll untap. I will draw this card that I scry to the top and then I will play a mountain and pass my turn. Two, we'll draw for turn. Play an island, tap my lands for a Felwar Stone. Go ahead, All right, at the uh, end of my last turn, I had fetched a land. I fetched a Zagoth Triome. So now untap, draw a card. And uh, yeah, we're going to play a Sulphur Falls coming into play untap because I have an island. Untap both and play a Quick Sliver, allowing me to now cast my slivers as if they had flash. Oh, okay, I will draw. I'm gonna play a snow covered plains. I will tap two and play Giada. And it's past my turn. Uh, I will do nothing. I'll untap and I won't draw a card. Uh, I'll play an island and then I'll pass the turn. Untap, <clears throat> draw. Um, I will play an island and I will tap three to play Dulcet Sirens. Um, this can uh, make a creature attack a specific player. I don't want to. Go ahead. All right. On the end of your turn, I actually have actions to take. Ooh. Oh. I'm going to tap an island. And I'm going to cast Thought Scour, targeting myself. So I will mill two and then draw a card. Okay. I'm not done yet. Oh. I'm not done what yet. What mystery. I will mill a mountain, a pixie guide. And then I will tap two. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I should draw off my cards that say draw a card, huh? I'll tap two and I will cast Grape Shot. Currently the storm count is at uh, two because there was one and two. Um, so I'll deal two to uh, oh. Giada and one to the Sliver. Wah, wah. I appreciate it. Dead. That's what I'm here for. You may continue. <laughs> I'll remember this. <laughs> I will hmm. remember this. All right, draw. I will play a command tower and then tap two to play a mana weft sliver, allowing me to now use my slivers as mana dorks. Pass. Alrighty, I'm gonna untap, draw. I'll play a planes. I will tap two for an arcane signet. And then I will tap one for a soul warden and then I will pass my turn. Untap, draw, play a mountain, and we'll play Mira. I will gain a life. You will. And that's my turn. I'll untap, draw. Let's play an island. That mm. is a lot of text. <laughs> Can't read. On this? Yeah. It sure is. <laughs> Um, let's just pay five, and I'll cast my commander. And uh, Jess, I'm gonna hit you for the three. Oh. And I'm gonna go with your soul warden. Okay. Um, and faster, turn one. Untap. 
draw. All right, we will play a Cavern of Souls, and I will name Slivers. Surprise, surprise. I'll pay three to play a Chromatic Lantern. Uh, now all my lands can tap for whatever color I want. Ultimate mana fixing. And I will play a Training Grounds. So this allows me to use my activate abilities for two less. And then I will pass. Already, I will Seems untap. Seems good. Bad news things. <laughs> Draw. I have no land. But I will play Jad again. <laughs> and then I'm goaded, is that right? So, okay. You do gain a life know. though. Oh soul. yes, I do. I'll gain a life. But you must swing I will with swing your... at Andre. Okay. I'm sorry. It's all right. Uh, it's not your fault. <laughs> connected. I'm sorry. I get to put a one counter on for Krog and I get to... Untap. Draw. Huh. Interesting. I'll play a mountain. Uh, yeah, we'll do this now. I'm going to cast uh, Spin into Myth, targeting uh, Fur Krog. Uh, Spirit of the Myth says, put, uh, put target creature on top of its owner's library. Uh, obviously, you're going to not do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then they get to fate seal you for two, which they get to look at the top two cards of your deck and uh, put them on the top or the bottom. Oh, fate seal. Oh. Bro. That's some old school mechanics. Uh, you can put this card on top, this card on the bottom. This on top? Yeah. Uh, and then because I cast a instant sorcery, I get an attraction. Uh, we uh, have opened the foam weapons kiosk. So nice. on my uh, on my uh, first main phase on my next turn, uh, I get to roll a d6. Uh, if I roll a four or a six, I can put a one one counter on a creature I control. That creature gains a vigilance until end of turn. All right. And <laughs> that is my turn. They last only until end of turn. The attractions? The attractions. No, this exists. No, no, here I mean now. like the ability. The effect is, yeah. yeah. Well, this one is a permanent counter. Yeah. But the vigilance is still on a turn. Gotcha. Oh. So a permanent 1 1, but the vigilance is just on just a turn. Got it. I'm going to play this training center, which comes into play on tap because I have two more opponents. Going to uh, pick four, and I'm going to cast Vengeful Ancestor. When he comes to play, he's going to goad Myra. Oh, All right. Um, and I will pass turn. Okay. I will untap. Draw. I will play a sliver hive. Land for turn. And um, gonna tap the cavern of souls for green, blue, uh, red, blue black, and white. So I'll play my uh, commander. Okay, no life. All right, and Seems then, uh, yeah, I will pass. Okay, I will untap, draw, hopefully get a land. Oh yeah, sweet. And then I will tap three for Starnheim Aspirant. I will gain a life. And then, great man. I'm like gonna tap reduction. one for Righteous Valkyrie. I'll gain a life. She's gonna enter with a counter. Um, and then I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing uh, Jana at you, Derek. Can't do anything about that. And she's got Vigilance. She sure does. Boop boop. Keep her that way. And then I'll pass my turn. Sounds good. We will untap. I will go to my draw step. Yeah. In my draw step, I'm going to activate Mirror the Magnificent. I'm going to attempt to exile Spin into Myth to attach it to an attraction that I control. When I visit that attraction, I'll get to cast the spell for free. Resolve? Uh, you know what? No. <laughs> that would be a terrible card to let you resolve. <laughs> Well, I mean, this is a resolve, but I'm trying to, like, yeah. exile it to the thing. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, rapid hybridization mirror. Sure. That's fine. I the fact that you can still get the ability. I, I do. Know. Yeah. I do still get the ability. So I have a... What, what is retraction? is an artifact. This is an artifact. 
Yeah, but like that card doesn't get attached here. It does. It still does? It does. Oh. Stop the ability. You're just Oh, okay, no. Change your mind? Yeah, change okay. my mind, sorry. I thought like I would cancel yeah, the ability. Yeah. Gotcha. Just dying on back. Yeah, and if she leaves, like these attractions will still trigger their spells they're attached to. This okay. is like an isolated thing, yeah. So you have a one third chance every main so phase right now to basically. Can I get a dice? I just gotta put a counter on this. And every I don't need really, really, a d6. <laughs> I got yes. Yeah, so this is, uh, has four and six lit up. So uh, yeah, I have a one out of three chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this counter represents that I cannot attach any more instant or sorceries to this attraction. A midway okay. counter. Yes, it is a midway counter. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now I'll go to my main phase. Uh, this is tapped. Uh, and I will roll to visit my attractions. Uh, that is... Is that a six? That's a one. No. Oh, it's a six. So we have succeeded. Uh, I'll get a one-one counter on Mirror the Magnificent, and then I will cast Spin into Myth for free. Um, we'll target this thing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to activate its yeah. uh, fetch ability right now. Sure. I didn't kill one. Uh, fun fact, I believe this is maybe one out of two cards that actually have Fate Seal on them. I think there's a sliver that yes, Fate Seals, and a then fate that's seal. it. Oh. It was a mechanic that they tested out, uh, deemed too toxic, and then left it in the garbage. Oh, was it too toxic? Turns out it's it? not fun to stack your opponent's deck. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Turns out Fate Sealing sucks. All right, so I'm getting a Crystalline Sliver, obviously. Yep. And... Uh, oh, yes, like... Uh, what's that? Uh, Cloud Shredder <laughs> Sliver. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you know what? No, Harmonic Sliver. No, but it's an artifact. <laughs> yeah. That's that's mean, though. You're getting two free removals every turn, basically. I mean, that's not true. I have to roll for it. You know, there's a chance I miss. Is yeah. it every main phase or just, just the first? Main oh, phase. just the first. Oh, main. Man. Just the first main oh. phase. Once per turn, I roll. Okay. I thought it was visit my, uh, and, and 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 then visit every attraction with the numbers lit up that match the roll. All right. So using uh, Sliver Overlord's ability on the stack, I went and fetched myself a Harmonic Sliver and a Crystalline Sliver, putting it into my hand, mm -hmm. and then. Um, and then I'll attempt to result. fate seal your commander. You can put it uh, on top of your deck if you want. All right, and then I'll uh, uh, fate seal you for two. Not that you need these really, because I mean you can just like like shuffle your deck or whatever. But yeah, we'll put both these on the bottom. <laughs> I don't want you to have those cards. <laughs> uh, and then once that's all done, I'll play a Terror Expanse. <laughs> uh, I'll fetch them. I'll pass the turn. Cool. I will untap, draw, play a Haven of the Spirit Dragon, and Andre has red, so I'm going to tap a Thawar Stone and the Haven of the Spirit Dragon to cast Thrill of Possibility. Uh, I will discard Carnelian Orb of Dragonkind to draw two cards. Uh, then I will tap three to play Gravelax, the Lithid Scholar. I will go to combat and I will attack Jess for three ah. in the air. So I just block it. Um. Yeah, yeah. I'll block it with my Rage's Valkyrie. Okay. She's a three four. Three five. Right about that. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, three five. Duh. I can man. Go ahead, Andre. All right. On tap. Draw for turn. Um, yeah, we're going to tap one, two, three, four, uh, four. No, I only need three. Harmonic sliver. I'm going to destroy your attraction. I'm going to gain a life. That's allowed. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm going to tap my mana west uh, sliver. Sulfur falls. The uh, cavern of souls and the sliver hive to play Sky Shroud Claim and go fetch me a up to two forests and then put them into the battlefield untapped. And then, uh, do I have anything I want to do? You know what, I will pass the turn. Okay, I will untap, draw, play it, <clears throat> play it planes. Okay, I don't wanna do this. 
I'm gonna play five for a Gilded Lotus. I'm gonna tap three of those for a Norn's Choir Master. I'll gain a life. Um, she enters with two counters for Giada. Um, and then I will. With that trigger on the stack, I'm going to make it so that uh, you have to attack Andre with your righteous. Okay. Um, so yes. So this righteous buff retrigger. So I gain life equal to toughness. So this is before. This well, is before any counters. With the on it, oh yeah, it enters yeah. with them. So so I gain six lives. You do. <laughs> and because of Righteous Valkyrie's second um, text, everything I have has plus two, plus two because I have seven more life than the beginning. Total, uh, <clears throat> including Righteous Valkyrie? Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> so I'm attacking Andre with Righteous Valkyrie? Uh, yeah. So what is that? It's two. Uh, four, so five. five. Yeah, five. Alrighty. And then i will move to combat i will swing righteous valkyrie at andre all right and i will swing giada uh over at you casey sweet so four commander damage four it's oh. two. and then i will pass my turn well let's untap i well, thank god they don't have lifelink right <laughs> Go to my draw step. In my draw step, yeah, uh, I'll pay one blue for a taxi and probe. I'll take a look at Andre's hand. Oh no! I see. So we're <laughs> so we're screwed, is what I am seeing here. There's nothing good here. Everything is bad. <laughs> That's not <laughs> <all> a sliver. <laughs> That's <laughs> cheating. <laughs> uh, I will draw a card uh, and I open an attraction. The merry-go-round, right? Visit it. Creatures uh, with power two or less gain horsemanship until end of turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I draw a card off probe. Uh, still in my draw step. We're doing this at instant speed, wait, everybody. Wait. No, this doesn't. Have, this is sorcery. Oh, it's sorcery! I can't do that. It's so bad. All right, then I will. I'll right. still do this, but I. Uh, this all happens and after my draw it, step. Yes. That's fine. See, so yeah, I'll still draw this for my draw step. And you then also, I'll draw off yeah, this yeah. probe. Okay, thank you. I thought this was instant. I'm just bad at this game, huh? <laughs> it's a good card, but not that good. Come on, it was bad! It's gotta be good. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be better than that, right? It's gotta be instant. Look at my opponent's hand. Gotta be... It's gotta be that good, right? Uh, well, let's do. Let's play the game correctly. Let's play a preordain. Draw this one. We'll open another attraction. Balloon stand. When I visit it, I either make a one-one red balloon creature token, or I can sacrifice a balloon to give a creature flying. It is, isn't it? It's fun. All the all, all my cards are fun and cute, right? Right, Andre? You wouldn't you wouldn't destroy them, right? <laughs> you wouldn't do that. <coughs> you should get an up made, an up holder. <laughs> and up for the balloon stand. That, yeah, that'd be sick, actually. I'd be down for that. Um, and we'll play a wild blade of frontiers. Gain a light. Yep. And uh, then I will pass the turn. At two mana, one one with the wall of text. It's not that half the text is you. You the second half of it you can ignore basically. Yeah. Tap, draw. I'm honestly playing it just for the first bit. The rest of it is flavor text. <laughs> So you get to roll with advantage, gotcha. Yes, I get to roll with advantage. Uh, fun fact about, about, uh, uh, about attractions is that the six is always lit up. On all of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the one is never lit up. Because that's a fail. That's a fail. And a six is a crit. Yeah, dude. Um, I'm going to uh, tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to put my commander. I'm going to gain a life. Boop. Um, let's see, I'm going to throw... So when are we going to take the angel player seriously? <laughs> We're going to take you seriously! <laughs> yeah, you're... I've seen what's over there. Scary. Um, uh... I'm not a threat there. You for three I'm and not a threat. You for three as well, Andre. Alright. 
Uh, I'm gonna go to your harmonic sliver and I'm gonna go to your will. Sure. And because uh, Vengeful Ancestor has another trigger, I'm also going to go to your Norn's Chancellor. Okay. Because it just goads things when he attacks. Okay. Not go the in, open this out a little sliver. angle where he is ready to get in there. I'll just take three. From oh. here, uh, I'm taking three here or here. Uh, you'll take here. You can, one, you can take uh, for Krog. Three for Krog damage. Three. Oh, wait, that's three, three commander, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and because uh, I connected, I got a Grazalax trigger, so I can draw two cards. Nice. And I will, uh, main phase two, I'll play this Steam Vents untapped. And uh, I will pass the turn. Okay. We will untap. Um, untap. So oh, how, my. How, how bad is it, uh, Derek? How bad are we screwed? Uh. It's bad for specifically me. Oh, okay. I think. Okay. Actually, oh, that's fine. me and maybe Jess. You're very fine with that tasty Gilded Lotus over there. Gilded Lotus, what? Gilded Lotus, yeah, Arcane Signet. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I mean, but I mean, there's some bad stuff going on just in general. In general. In general, there's and definitely. There's, I have to plan how bad I want to make know, it for everyone right yeah, now. There's some cards I really don't like, uh, and there's some cards I only kind of don't like. There's some cards that are bad for everyone, some bad some bad just for me. You know, it's just... You know, we'll find out together, won't we? Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> oh, no. Are you passing? I'm passing. Yeah, you would. I am. Oh, I do have to attack with the Harmonic Sliver. I'm going to tap it for mana. Okay, that's lame. I want you to know that uh, that's lame. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. Alrighty. I oh, will. because of the mana west spider uh, sliver oh. allows me to tap my other slivers for mana. Yeah. Even if you're goaded, you can do that ability instead. Yeah, you can just float that. mana in his main phase and just like do nothing with it. Sweet. It's a pretty good trick. Alrighty, I will untap, draw. Okay, I'm gonna play a folk hero. So my commander also says that when I cast a spell that shares a creature type or an angel, I get to draw a card. That happens once each turn. Oh, that's that. And then I'm going to go to combat. So at Norn's the, choir master. One sec, at the beginning of combat, I'm going to make it so that you have to attack Derek with uh, Star. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's, no, that's this, guy, this guy. Oh. The, the big one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Try to balloon right now. Six. Yeah. yeah, six. Yeah. And then the Norn's Choir Master is also good. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a ten. <laughs> okay. Um, so this one has to attack Derek. This one has to attack one of these two. Okay, I'm gonna swing the Righteous Valkyrie at Derek. Yeah. The Norn's Choir Master is gonna go to Andre, and Giada is going to go to uh, you, Casey. And that's four commander damage, and she's vigilant, so she'll stay up. I'm taking, and then uh, I am two, going four, to proliferate six. because she just attacked. Oh, does it proliferate? No. Does it proliferate? Oh, attacks! Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, you get it. Oh, so you guys take an extra point of damage. So an extra right. point. Yeah. Sorry, sure. I thought um, it was after. Oh. I thought it was after. <laughs> because two creatures connected on my opponents, I'm going to draw two cards and get two counters on for clock. Alrighty, and then that will be my turn. Alrighty. At the end of your turn, I will activate Mira, and I will uh, attach. I will, I will attempt to attach Grape Shot to an attraction, and then I want to. Have. You'll draw. All right. Yeah. In my draw step, I will actually First do instant speed things, but correctly this time. I will not mess this up. I uh, will cast Opt. Uh, so open an attraction. Tunnel of Love. Well, whenever Tunnel Love is visited, uh, I choose an opponent, they pick a creature they control, then I choose a creature that I control, then either I can exile this creature and turn them at the uh, next end step, or they fight. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will scry one and draw a card. And then I will cast... Teach by Example, which will open another attraction. This copies the next instant or sorcery that I play this turn. Uh, fortune teller for teller's abilities to scry one. That's a whole lot of text on that card. Yeah, it says <laughs> uh, today's fortune to avoid certain doom. Make sure to insert additional tokens to continue. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Straight out of an arcade machine. Yeah, that's the best part. 
And then I will tap a mountain to Galvanic Blast. Uh, trigger, I get another attraction. This one is Spinny Ride. Uh, this one taps a creature and opponent controls. Um, so I get to copy this because of teach, teach by example. So I have two Galvanic Blasts. Uh, we'll target one at the Harmonic Sliver. And the other one at... I can't kill half this shit. You could kill Jada, I, I guess, or I guess. Jada or the four, thing four making right his, his uh, angels cost less. Yeah, Galvanic Blast is still with four damage. Still with four, because I have five artifacts now at this point. Um, yeah, we'll do the the angel cheapener. The angel cheapener? Yeah. Okay, what so is it? Four damage here, four damage here. <clears throat> Alrighty. To the harmonic? The angel cheapener is dead now. Yes. I want to keep my artifacts around. And then I will tap Mira to... We'll exile Galvanic Blast. Uh, and this Spinny Ride. I wish I don't need the counters. I don't have anything that actually takes the counters off, so... And okay, now we go to my, go, go to my main phase. Mm -hmm. I will roll to visit my attractions. Draw. Did you draw my turn? I did draw. Oh, that was all my draw stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Hilariously enough. Uh, huzzah! Oh, oh, and I can roll a second dice yes. as well? Yeah, you can roll this. You ignore the lowest roll. I can roll ignore the lower one. Two. Ignore the lowest. So it's five. I don't think I have any fives. No so nothing happens. Day. Too bad. The two would have been way better. <laughs> I know, yeah. You would have visited three. <laughs> I would have visited, the, yeah, this one, this one, this one. Yeah. Well, you know, that's what happens. And then this gets a counter on it. Hooray, it's a 2 2. Uh, is it goaded? It is goaded. It is goaded. Yeah. That's why it's tilted. Because I'm tilted. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we swing uh, two at Andre. All right. Sweet. Because uh, you attack. I am actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna Do to flash tap. in. Yeah, something? I'm gonna flash right now. Yeah, yeah. Flash it in. Let's see it. <laughs> oh my. I mean, somebody's gonna have to remind me what the text is because it's written in Phyrexian, but Jin Gataxius. <laughs> uh, I believe we have a maximum hand size of zero. zero. I have. <coughs> uh, and you draw seven, seven cards, cards at the end of your turn. Gotcha. And you have no maximum hand size. Yikes. Yeah, so now that I Sorry, have... Sorry, you're gonna keep your hand until it dies or the end of your turn. All right. Uh, <laughs> or Andre dies. Okay, right, so you're player <laughs> removal. So I get a flash and then kill... And then I'm blocking right. your uh, your dice roller down. Okay, 19. That's fine. I gotta kill you, 19. After <laughs> combat, I will cast Careful Study. Open up another attraction. Since the trash bin, uh, I mill two cards and turn a card at random from my graveyard to my hand. Um, I will draw two cards and then discard two cards. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So we'll just right, I'm all out. Yeah. We'll discard Twinferno and Repeated Reverberation. I'll play it on for turn. I'll go to my end step and I'll discard. All right. There we are. On tap. You saw it coming when I just like didn't do shit on my turn. Yeah. So I mean. You have to play it out. So that's what you I meant by that's it. not a sliver. Huh? That's yeah. not a sliver. Yeah, that's not a sliver. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, don't get shafted over here. <laughs> Why is it even in this deck? I don't know. Just because. <laughs> oh, boy. And then we're, we're going to be sad again on, on Andre's turn, I imagine. But we had, we had to go for it. Uh, I'm going to <clears> tap <throat> two and play Winged Words. I'm going to draw two cards. Let's play a mountain. Oh, my slipper's dead, right? Yeah, okay. it is. Oh, that's tight. You're welcome. <laughs> Step two. Right. Look on that little torque. Derek um, mm, will take you for three. Yep. Andre, you can take five. Commander. Um, I will go to your commander. Yep. I will go to Norn's Chronicler. And uh, I will go with your mana left sliver. Um, yeah. OK, 
Shame in face. Two. Let's um, put. I'm getting there. Jin, oh, like. maybe. Uh, I'm gonna cast expel for Morazka. Um, I have at least ten permanents, uh, so I'm gonna put that on the top of your library. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel like getting through it. Discard of your hand. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, he could just replay it. He could play yeah. it before it gets then, to you, but then you're kind of in trouble. But um, it's fine. Um, what I want to do here? Um, let's tap one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, three. And I'm going to put a uh, shiny impetus on your righteous fall three. Is so it gets plus two, plus two is goaded, and whenever it attacks, um, I get treasure. Okay. Um, and I forgot because Grazalax triggered. I get to draw two cards. Which means I'm gonna have to discard. Go to discard anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna discard an Oral Dragon kind and an island, and I will pass turn. All right. I will untap. All the mana. Draw. Oh, what a surprise! I didn't see this one coming. Hmm. All right. Uh, gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm gonna play farewell. Yeah. Gonna exile all artifacts, creatures, and graveyards. Uh, I will play a crystalline sliver for turn, and then pass. Alrighty. I will untap. Draw, play planes, be sad, tap them <laughs> all, and get on my commander again. And then I will pass my turn. All right, um, tap, draw. Huh, that's not so bad. Could have been way worse. That could have been way worse. I'm glad you had something for those attractions. It's getting out of control. <laughs> yeah, they so start piling up. up. Yeah, pretty quickly. Uh, I will pass my turn. <laughs> um, let's play an island, and then I will pay nine to cast my commander. Uh, Jess, I'm gonna attack you for three. Okay, I'll pick three. And I will goad uh, Giada. Okay. Oh, uh, that's commander. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Um, go ahead, Andre. Yeah, I, I feel like you killed with commander damage a couple times at least with this deck, right? No. Oh. <laughs> no. All right, draw. Interesting. Um, Why would that happen? I don't know. Because your commander, he, he swings. Yeah, he's got haste. true, but he's more than that. He's a good go. boy. All right, I'll pay, order. pay seven <laughs> for my commander. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll keep the blue up. Yeah, uh, using Cavern of Souls. Uh, make them uncounterable. Wow. 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 Alright. And then I'll pass the turn to Jess. Okay, I'll untap. Draw. Play planes. Um, how many ones do you guys have? I've got eight. I have seven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm gonna gift of estates myself. And then I guess I will go to combat and I will swing Yada at. Uh, have you got, are you flyers over there? No, but I will kill Giada again. Yeah. You have to come at me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm gonna swing it at Derek because he killed her in the first place. Okay. <laughs> you know, hey, know any, any logic that. is fine Just by two. me. Because <laughs> you built damage, I get to draw a card. And then I'll pass my turn. At the end of your turn. We'll play the card that we drew. Uh, I'll cast Factor Fiction. Nice. Uh, we'll choose Casey. You gonna be nice to Derek or not? Oh my god. There's the top five. Two piles. I get to keep up. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, I'll take this. <laughs> Is Tolerant that bad? <laughs> wow, well, look at how many spells he's cast. Yeah, uh, two, two, he gets two, two, drape for every sorcery. sorcery. Yeah. So that can, that can be good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, then I'll tap. And then I'll drop turn. Play Mountain. Wait, Time Warp? Take us turn? Mm, great. Let's so play Target Player, eh? Target Player. I'll target me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, can you redirect? But uh, yeah. if you have a redirect, you can redirect yeah, if you want. Yeah, let me just want. deflecting swap that. 
<laughs> sure. Wow, <that> awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, and I'll play a gear per Aether Grid. <laughs> I can tap two untapped artifacts I control to deal one damage to any target. Uh, I will pass to your extra turn. Sweet. <laughs> and tap. Draw. Sweet. All right. Let's go uh, two mana for Neurox Cell Suit. Let's tap seven. I'm going to play Chaos Dragon and Territorial Hellkite. Uh, so these guys both have Fly and Haste, and uh, their attacking patterns are kind of random. Um, okay, so uh, let's do this. Uh, I think we have to, you have to do roll these two. For yeah, so you, you guys got to roll a oh, roll. D, D20. D20. And I can attack, Chaos Dragon can attack the player with the highest roll. Okay. Nat 20. Six. <laughs> okay, so I can attack you with Chaos Great. Dragon. And then Territorial Hokite has to attack an opponent at random. So uh, let's go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so uh, Jess is going to hit you for four. Okay, I'll take four. Uh, actually, no, sorry. I'll hit I'll, I'll attack uh, Andre for four because I can't attack him with. You're still going to take four. I'll attack you with Chaos Dragon, and I will attack you, uh, Derek, with Territorial Hokite. I might die from commander damage. Because uh, two creatures uh, dealt combat damage that had to attack. I get two counters <clears> and I can draw two cards. Uh, I don't have any lands. Um, so I'm going to pass my turn to my my normal turn. All right. <laughs> yeah, do it regular turn. <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I will pass to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it, Derek. <laughs> I'm here to help, apparently. Uh, so untap, uh, drop a turn. Um, I guess I'll just go to combat. Um, so I, got, I need you guys to roll for Chaos Dragon again, and I'll roll for Territorial Hellkite. Okay, lucky two, 20, three, four, lucky five, 20. Two. Oh, okay. ha ha, I'm safe. Territorial, three, so it's coming at Jess. So Jess, you take Territorial. Um, safe. You can take Chaos Dragon. Sure. And uh, I will have to rapid hybridize your commander this time. I can't take more. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess that. You can't happened. keep getting away with it! <laughs> uh, so don't draw... C Actually, hold on a sec. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna equip Nerox Delsu to it. Oh. In response, Lana. Yeah. I should have um, done it at the end of the turn when you tapped out! Yeah, you should have. Yeah, oh! I fucked up! You can always um, grab and hybridize one of the other two things. Not so it's at you. six damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, you're at four. So yeah. And uh, I get to draw two cards from Chaos Dragon and Troy Hulkite. Um, let's go to main phase two. I will play a Sheep and Reef. I'm going to pass turn. I'm going to discard Dragon. Hey, if I see shop. a extra turn, I'm taking it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I think uh, first order of turn, we're going to play a uh, Siphon Sliver. Try and stay alive a little longer here. Then um, I will use my commander's ability to fetch a uh, sliver. All right, we're getting the Cloud Shredder sliver. Haste. Creatures I control have flying I and have one on the bottom. Oh, wow, no. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. I was like, nope, I don't like that one. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna play him with a sliver hive and a Temple Garden. So now they all have Haste, Lifelink, and Shroud. I'm gonna swing everything at K-Series. Uh, no. Before you pass, oh. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, and I'm <sighs> going to cast Mocking Doppelganger. Which does? That has Flash, and so I'm gonna copy um, your commander's liberal board. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So it's uh, Silver Hole Overlord is also goaded. You don't? Okay, I guess I'll go after uh, Jess with the Silver okay. Overlord. It's a 7-7 seven, <clears throat> seven Flying Lifelink. Um, haste. And then the other ones are all Flying Lifelink 5 at you, yeah, Casey. This is a reading show. Okay, everybody. Reading yeah, reading okay, here. I think I'm going to block that with uh, Jess. Okay. So I'm going to gain 12. She's going to die and go to my graveyard. All right, and then I will pass. Okay, and I'm gonna untap, draw for turn, play a planes. 
I'm gonna tap five and invoke justice. I'm gonna return Giada, and I'm gonna put four counters on her. Uh, and then I'm gonna pass my turn. Okay. No haze. Yeah, I'll pass my turn. I will untap. I will draw. Let's cast Mira. Then I'll cast Faithless Looting. Trigger. We'll draw two, discard two, make an attraction. Bounce Chamber. If I visit it, I turn a creature I don't control with the lowest toughness among creatures I don't control to its owner's hand. Mm -hmm. So on the board, wherever the lowest toughness creature is, we'll go back to its owner's hand if I visit this. All of them, if, if they're tied? Uh, only one if they're oh, just tied. One. I choose okay. if it's if it, if it's tied. I get to pick. Uh, I will resolve my fatal solution. If you do that twice, you could return his crystal and slip over to his hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a long road ahead of me. That's yeah. what you're saying. <laughs> Let's card these two. I'll play the. Oh. Biblioplex. <laughs> he can't block. Yeah. <laughs> He's had like 18 command damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I had another sliver with flying in my hand. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> uh, I will cycle a lonely sandbar. And my flashy flash one is yeah, exiled. Uh, Whoops. And uh, that's my go. Cool. Anything I want to do? Uh, in your turn, I'm going to tap three and cast Thirst for Knowledge. So I'm going to draw three cards and then discard two unless I discard an artifact. I don't have an artifact, so I'm going to discard this Crystal Knightly Hunt and a mountain. You had fire in your eyes, you know. Draw for turn. I was passionate out, about out for the game life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Passion for fashion. Um, okay, let's just go to combat. <laughs> and, uh, got, you guys got to roll a d20 again. Yeah. Six. Thirteen. Oh no, nine. Nine. Thirteen, so Territorial Hellkite cannot, or Chaos Dragon can't go with Andre. Oh, it matters. Um, and I attacked <laughs> Jess with Territorial Hellkite last turn. I'm going to so fetch a sliver has right to now. attack one of you two at random. Didn't attack during last combat at random. I didn't announce. Uh, sorry, let's go one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six. Okay, so um, cool. Andre, these two yeah. guys coming at you. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Chaos Dragon and uh, Sliver Overlord uh, coming at you, Derek. So the, oh, so so is, oh, is Sliver Overlord seven, also seven, has seven? Shroud, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, 11 damage? 11 damage. Yeah, and uh, I will die to commander damage. Oh yeah, I'm dead. I have no <clears throat> responses. Go to two. <laughs> um, I'm gonna draw two cards and put two counters on this guy. Two. Uh, just go like this. <laughs> draw two cards. That's what sealed my fate. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Not the fate field earlier. <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, these two guys are goaded. Sure. Okay. Because um, those are the only targets. Sure are. That's cool. Uh, All right, commenters, feel free to skewer me in the comments. <laughs> it's entirely my fault. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, you only have one land that can produce colorless, so uh, let's go one, two, I have three. one card in hand, so four, I mean, five, if, you're, six, if you're trying to play on something, you, you don't have to. Eight, nine, no, um, it's just because it's the only Blow dragon in my hand. Uh, yeah, I'm going to destroy the Biblioplex. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to play Hypersonic Dragon. Man, Draw you really rebuilt fast. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Drew a lot of cards. Yeah. <laughs> Should have stopped the first Had an extra turn. Had an extra turn, yep. Yeah. Make a deal with Derek. Yeah, let's yeah. say sure. I don't kill you, you <laughs> go for Casey. Yeah, that sounds fine to me. Alrighty, so I'll tap this for mana and then just let that float and pass. Nothing else? Uh, no, I don't need to murder anything. Alright, uh, upkeep, uh, draw. Gonna hold in my draw step in case I want to do something here. 
we gotta risk it for the biscuit, right? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta live big. Gotta, we gotta win or die trying, right? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Tap Mira, Exile, Time Warp. Oh, wow. I guess that's the thing. <laughs> we got a 50 or a one in three chance. Pretty good. I will go to my main phase. I will roll visit my attraction. Oh. Nothing. No dice. No dice. Uh, and because my sad sorry land is destroyed, uh, I will pass the turn. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> to be fair, our follow-up play wasn't much better if we did have a land. Uh, okay, let's just go to combat. Remember, um, you don't have to attack. Oh, I do. Well, I may, I may have to. I may not have a choice. Um, I don't remember who I attacked the territorial. Okay, it was, it was him. Andre. Um, so uh, let's go Chaos Dragon. Each roll with d20. Showdown. 12. Oh, oh well, we're dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was fun! <laughs> so Territory Hellkite has to attack somebody as well. Uh, one to three, four to six. All right, yeah, just bring the rest of me, I guess. Uh, <laughs> might as well just pile yeah, on the game. Yeah, yeah, so let's 10 your way. Yeah. And, uh, Jess, I'm coming with you with 10 commander damage plus uh, 7. Okay. So I'll go here for commander. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 7 from the sliver. Yeah, sliver overlord. Okay. Um, uh, I guess then, I'm dead. Bye. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm going to take you with these two as well. So this is an extra 8. Kay. My bad. Uh, it goes without saying that uh, Giada is like super goaded, which means she has to attack me. Mm. Mega goaded now. Yeah. She's got to attack you yeah. already. Um, I get to draw two cards because these two guys had to attack. I guess your deal with Derek didn't work out. No, yeah. thanks. <laughs> yeah, you were supposed to get him. All right, let's see. If we I'm just kidding. If we had an extra turn, that wouldn't have helped. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had our work cut out for us, that's for sure. To be fair, you made a deal with a dying man. I did. <laughs> I, I had did. like, I was like bleeding out. Like, and I knew what I was getting into out. though. I won't oh, attack right. you if you don't finish me off. Yeah. It was a sympathy deal. You're like, haha, ha, yes. For the dying man. Yeah. <laughs> this bedridden man definitely will assist me on, the, on his next turn, right? But I mean, you, you gave spend, Derek yeah. another two minutes of gameplay. I did. I'm gonna play a command tower, and then I'm going to play one, two, three. Four, I'm gonna play Galzeth Prismari, which is gonna give me Ooh. a treasure token. Elder Dragon. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then just to use up cards in my hand here, I'm gonna play a Bloodthirsty Blade and not do anything with it. Uh, and I will pass it. turn. I, I can attach it to my bonus oh, creatures okay. and go with them. Oh, really? Obviously, not gonna do it right now, but I don't wanna take more damage. Um, <laughs> pass turn. Untap. All right, Jess, you can win Draw. this out of nowhere. I don't know how. Nowhere. Here's the planes. Um, Wrath of God. I'm gonna tap three and play Kayla's Command. I'm gonna choose two things. I'm gonna gain two life and scry two. I'll do that first. Okay. And then I will choose the second one. I'm gonna put a one-one counter on a creature I control and it'll gain double strike until the end of turn. Wow. So now she's goaded and she's gonna swing this at you. She's a seven, seven, 14, 14. Uh, 14 damage commander. Yeah, 14 yeah, seven, commander. Seven. Oh, man. Right at you. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap this uh, treasure I have to stern dismissal. So I'm gonna put it back in your hand. Oh. Ugh. No. Terrible. Well, it's only two. That's it. That's what I. Oh no, wait. Can I? I can cast yeah, it right now, can I? Yeah. Here you go. Guess who's that? Wait a minute. No. Can I? Can I redo that? Sure. Can I? Can I take that back? Yeah. Can I? What was she at? Five. Five. Yeah. Five counters. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna actually tap one and rebuff the wicket and counter your thing. Target spell that targets a permanent you control. Oh, you can't do that. Um, so she's. Oh, vigilance. Oh, she's, vigilance, but uh, yeah, still, still, still coming in hot. She didn't have a lifelink or anything, though, right? No. Flying vigilance. Yeah. Okay, I'll take the fourteen. 
Yeah, 14, well, she's commander, 14 damage. commander damage. Do yeah. I have commander damage oh. on her already? Yeah. You Wait, do. that kills you. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Does it? Oh, no. Or does it? I'm going to cast her appetizer station. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's got okay. answers okay. for everything. Yeah. He's got it. He's got even more. Okay, so where did she go now? I've drawn so many cards off of yeah. it. Yeah, was yeah, that's fair. What did she even add? I was like, no way, dude. She's at eight. Yeah. Oh, she... Now you can play her again? No, I don't think so. No, I can't because she's got. Oh, eight right, didn't pass it. This yeah, time. so there, there you go. All right, I let him. Pass my turn. Let him have the coup de grace. <laughs> from commander damage, too. Going from killing nobody with commander damage with four Krog to two people. Look at that. Wow. Drop turn. It's just that easy. And, uh. Magic, it's so easy. <laughs> yeah, dude, magic is easy, guys. I mean, <laughs> these two both actually, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't but matter. I'm going to attack you with four Krog. Alrighty. And uh, that is more than enough commander damage to kill you. It is. Yeah. Well, sweet. Good job. <laughs> GG guys. GG. GG. I it. <laughs> yeah, we'll cross the table. Oh, yeah. Man. There. Show your uh, top card there. Look what was coming up. Da 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 da. Sarah's emissary. <laughs> uh, she just named creatures and yeah. then she has protection from creatures instead so. of all her creatures. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. This close. It was very, very close. Very close. <laughs> I mean, with all the removal he had anyway. Yeah. You know what really was, sucks. I've had to stop yeah, the Corum in my hand the entire game, and there was never a good time to play it. Because oh, I could just go with what was on the table. Yeah. 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 Alrighty, that wraps it up, boys and girls. Uh, that was a crazy match. Dragons are hella powerful no matter what kind of deck you're building. And Slivers, as per usual, get screwed. So. Please do all the youtube -y things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, we really appreciate it, and peace!